Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Digger's World of Unboxings and Reviews. So as you can see here, I've got my Kobe CX CD377 CD stereo system, which I'm going to review today. Now this is a very nice system, it delivers good sound quality and good bass, and has a lot of good features, and it's, it's very practical and easy to use. I mean, it's got an FM radio, it's got an AUX input, for iPods and stuff like that, it's got a CD player. Also, I like that it has a little remote. It's an egg-shaped remote with, let's see, play button, stop button, fast forward, next track, previous track, program where you can basically, the only thing the program button does is uh, changes the clock, power and volume. But for now, I'm going to put the speakers back in there for a so-called word from our sponsors. Well, not really word from our sponsors. I'm going to show you what this system here is replacing. Wait for it. Wait for it. Booyah. Isn't it lovely? This is a Sanyo cassette slash FM AM radio. And I, I've had this for maybe three years now, and it served me long and good. It also scraped my wall, the antenna did, which is really long. But actually, I couldn't get any good frequency if I didn't stick up the antenna otherwise. But, you know, I mainly, also why I wanted a, a new sound system is because I wanted to listen to radio. I mean, I do listen to radio a lot. Like, when I wake up in the morning, you know, as I'm doing my usual morning activity, I listen to radio, I listen to talk shows, I listen to music and all that good stuff. So, this thing has served me long, but yet time has come to say goodbye. But, you know, it, it really is nice. It has good speakers, it has stereo sound, uh, it picks up good FM frequencies. Or should I say it picks up FM frequencies well, not so much for AM frequencies. Let's see, on the top here you've got the cassette player controls, tone, balance. But the cassette player didn't really work well because when I started playing a cassette... Mm, lights are flickering. Okay, so when I started playing a cassette... It would start out normal, but then maybe in a minute or two, it'd be like... Uh, so there was definitely something wrong with it. But um, other than that, it was a nice sound system. Or should I say, cassette player slash FM radio. But I'm sorry. Time has come to say goodbye. Bye-bye. <sighs> it served me long and good. But yet, yeah, it's time for an upgrade. Okay, let's move the speakers back up. Now, the speakers are quite large. In fact, I have a ruler here on my desk. Let's measure one. Let's see. So the height of one is about eight and a half inches. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. So about eight and a half inches width, or let's see. Um, uh, hang on here, please. So about six inches. So yeah, pretty big size. Let's measure the system itself, shall we? Let's get that out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. It measures 11.5. Like 11.4 inches. Yeah, about 11.4 inches. So, height. Yeah, about 7.5 inches. So, it's, it's not too big. It's pretty compact. It definitely weighs less than my old Sanyo cassette player. Also, the speakers are very nice. Uh, they've got a full... Um, I'm sorry. I wanted to say foam. They've got a cloth cover to them. And um, they also have little wall mounts. 
Oh, also they're wired, uh, but on the box it looked like they weren't. They, they, it looks like it looked like they were wireless because there wasn't any wires coming out of them. So here you've got little wall mounts. You can also put the system on the wall. That would be kind of nice, but I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so let's take a look at the system itself. So here you've got the CD thing, CD tray. Here, I'm sorry this is out of focus, but here is the bass switch. Uh, the bass kind of messes up the sound when you're listening to music from an external device. So if I plug in my Sony in here and turn on bass, it will, it will, it will mess up the music. So I keep it off during that time. Uh, let's see, here is the band frequency, you can choose between AM, FM, or FM stereo. Here you've got the mode selection, so CD, external out, external device, and radio. Here you've got the power and standby key. I'm going to use the remote for this review. Power. As you can see here, there's a little blue bar of light, which is pretty. The screen lights up. Um, right now it's at the CD, so there is no CD inside, so it just shows a blank screen. I, I like the blue glow feature, it's just really calming. So, um, let's see, what's next? Here I've got the sensor for the remote. Uh, now on the other side, we have the volume, play pause, now here's a little joy pad. This is stop, next track, or previous track, next track, fast forward, rewind. This is program where you can adjust the time. And here is the repeat slash shuffle thing. Uh, control. Oops, I dropped the speaker. Please be alive, please be alive. Okay, I'll just leave it there for now. This is the button that opens up the uh, uh, the CD cover. Now, due to m music copyright issues, I'm going to put I'm going to put a CD with an uncopyrighted track. At least I don't think it's copyrighted. But I'm I'd say I'm 99. Okay, stop for now. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I'd, I'd say that I'm 99.7% sure that it's not... Whoops. Okay, first I dropped the speaker, now I dropped the remote. What the hell? Okay, so I'm sure that it's... I'm 99.8% sure that it's not copyrighted. So here it is, track 5. I press play, and... Action. Let's see, let's turn up the volume. Now because this is a CD, I will add bass. And if you're playing a CD, especially with a song like this, it does enhance the audio. Now believe me, the speakers are excellent. They're, they aren't Bose quality, I've definitely heard better, but they are very nice for a... They're nice for a home theater system. Okay, that's enough. Well, Actually, no, I'm exaggerating. They aren't that nice for a home theater system. They're just, you know, nice for a room stereo system. I don't know, for a college dorm stereo system. Oh, let's take a look at this side here. Here you've got the external device output, or jack with the... Uh, where'd it go? It was here a minute ago. Oh, here it is. This is the cord that came with it. Plug one end in. Plug the other to your MP3 player. Now, here is the tuning switch where you adjust the FM tuning. But the, this switch is a bit off-putting because uh, when you kind of when you tune it to a frequency and set it, it like the next day it might be off. It like for example, I always have it set to 999. But sometimes it could be 100 or 998 or 997, but, you know, that's, that's, that's a minor issue. I'm definitely happy with the system. Good job, Kobe. I definitely like it. I'm going to keep this for a while. So thank you for watching this video review.
I hope this was helpful for you. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos, and stay tuned for future videos. I love it. I love the system.